Don't you think you've got that backwards? Jessica's never taken anything from you, but on the other hand, you have abused her trust and her friendship. Oh, Mom, she's done a lot more than that. right by me and I promise you when Maxie and I join you in heaven you can have them just warn Elvis to hang on cuz I'm coming oh Maxie probably forgot his keys I'm coming baby Jessica you look weird something wrong Puppy followed you. Isn't that cute? Yeah, get your hands off of my fiance. <laughs> fiance. Sorry, I didn't know. If you noticed, though, his hands were all over me. Maybe if he knew how to satisfy him. Jessica. That was a mistake. All right, this stops now. Yeah, you want to see what I'm made of? Stop it, okay? What the hell are you even doing here? I just, I wanted, I wanted to talk to you. Okay, listen, big guy. I got work to do now on the hookup, okay? Once you get rid of puppy dog here and come meet me there, we'll see what happens. You wouldn't last 10 seconds with me. All right, stop it. Oh, back off, loser. Not a chance, sweetheart. I see you giving up for everybody else. <laughs> I didn't know you liked to play rough. Well, if that's the way you like it. I can give it as good as I get it. <laughs> what the hell? What? What, you don't, you don't want to play with me anymore? You don't like me? Oh, my goodness. What? Take one more step and I will drop you. You are certifiable, lady. Yes, I am. One down, one to go. Hey, Jules, wait. I'm not saying that you have to leave town for good, just until the baby is born, okay? Let Jessica have some time to heal. And then after that, if you're the father of the baby, and if Jessica wants you back, after she's back to her old self again, then fine, come back, pick up the pieces where you left off, but right now, you're too dangerous. I hear you, I'm hearing you, I do, I really, I hear you. But I am doing the best that I can for the woman who I am in love with. Now, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am doing more harm to Tess than I am doing good, but I can't just leave Tess and the baby. Oh, that's real touching, Nash, but we sure as hell can walk away from you, you lying son of a bitch. What does this say? And until we receive the results of the paternity test, the baby stays right where she is. You stupid son of a bitch. If anyone messed up Nash's life, it would be you. Oh, Claudia, you're right, okay? You are right. That's why I feel an obligation to Nash. An obligation? Or has Tess the mess made a return appearance? Tess is a part of me now, okay? I know everything that happened between her and Nash. Do you remember all of that unbelievable sex they had? 
I'm leaving. One question. What was Sister Natalie doing in a hotel room filled with balloons? Is that something Tess and Nikki taught her from the family Kama Sutra? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, get lost on your way to the ladies' room? No, I... Antonio's looking for you. He, uh... Uh-oh. What's wrong? You are. Well, when the board votes on whether B.E. should buy Nash's vineyard, I'll prove to you who's son I'm on. I want proof now. Well, you can't always get what you want. Yeah, I can. Oh my god! You bastard! What are you doing? Uh, uh, he's crazy, Natalie. He just grabbed me out of nowhere. What? what? You're, you're unbelievable. You, you're kissing my sister, your niece? Okay, Jessica and I aren't exactly... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're not blood-related. That makes it so much better. You know, Jessica has been in Buchanan a lot longer than I have, and what do you think our father is going to think when he finds out his new brother has been hitting on her? Is there something I can do? I just want one thing from you, Natalie. Okay, you name it. I want to know if it was worth it. What? The sex. With Jared, I mean, it must have been spectacular. For you to lie to all of us. The people that you call family to make fools of us. To allow him to steal from us, to use us, and murder my husband? Okay, Jess, you, you really have to hear me explain this. I don't want you to explain a thing to me, Natalie. I want you to go downstairs and explain to my daughter why her father is never coming home. Why Jared had to kill her father. Why he pushed him so hard that he fell through a skylight. Jessica, you explain there you go. to her. Explain to her why her dad isn't going to be there every morning. Explain to her why he isn't going to be able to sing to her every night. Explain to her why you and Jared took Nash away from us and why he will never know this new baby. All because you were so desperate to get laid. Jessica, I love him. You are a hateful and disgusting person. And if you love him, then I don't want anything to do with you. Hi. Hi. Nice shirt. Thank you. So you're working here again? Uh, but I don't start today. I'm actually on my way home. If you want to make good on your promise. You said you'd see me tomorrow, which is today. Mm -hmm. It is. So what do you say? You want to get out of here? I'd love to, but I... Uh... I'm meeting with some people here. And now Jared's going to report back to Natalie. Let's give me something to talk about. What are you going to do? Arrest us? This is Las Vegas, not Landview, okay? You can't touch me. I know. That's why I called in the cavalry on the way over here. Brody Lovett, Landview PD, thanks for the assist. What, you can't arrest her? She hasn't done anything wrong. Maybe not, but you have. And what would that be? Kidnapping my fiance. Robert Ford, you have oh. the right to remain silent. No, 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 stop. This is a false arrest. I, I came here under my own free will. You're out of your mind. You don't have free will. Brody, what are you doing? You are taking this way too far. Sort it out down at the station. Or we can sort it out right now if you'd like to let Jessica out. Jessica is happy in her cage, Brody, but she does have a message for you. Anyone here? That's for boffing her sister and for getting her pregnant. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that, Tess. What do you think, guys? You're under arrest for assaulting an officer? Oh, All right, listen to me. Jessica, you don't want to be here. Trust me. Why would you want to live in a world where the guy that you love slept with your sister? They had a baby together. Brody loves that baby. He loves the son that he had with Natalie. He doesn't even care about you. And you know it. That's why you left. I told you to keep your hands off me. Wes. And don't you forget it. No. 
damn it. No, you're not. I'm not a chick. And as far as Levitt goes, if he did have a kid with Jessica's sister, sounds like he's trying to do the right thing. As long as he's standing by the mother and stepping up for the kid, I don't got a problem with that. He didn't bail on purpose. Really? Because someone let Tess out and, well, I know it wasn't me. And then you come back and you expect everything to be just as it was when you left. But guess what? Life doesn't stop just because you can't deal with it. Sounds like you got things all figured out. Jess, you're my sis, and I... And I love you. I do. And I will love you till the day I die, but I'm sorry. I'm not gonna let you make me your excuse for every miserable thing that happens in your life. And I'm not sacrificing my happiness because I'm afraid you're gonna fall apart. Give me a break, Natalie. You want me to fall apart because if Tess comes back, you don't have to feel guilty anymore. Go ahead. Seriously, I think I like you better as Tess anyway. That's it. We have a truce because of Ryder, but you're just taking advantage of it the same way you took advantage of Tess. And the last thing that I need is some leech that sleeps with everything that moves lecturing me about my feelings. Get out. believe you're doing this. Is this where crazy comes out? Crazy out? Yeah. I mean, you are Mitch Lawrence's psycho daughter and you always will be. Ah! Ah!